Hi, I'm Jesse Marlowe and I'm a Melbourne based photographer and this is my second city exhibition. So Second City is a body of work that I first began in 1998 and shot through till 2004. And for that whole period I was shooting black and white and it was the formative years within this series were when I was at photography school and we had access to unlimited film. So for me that meant, um, you know, bulk loading Kodak T-Max 400 film and heading off to the city with a, a pocket full of film and just exploring my hometown of Melbourne. And I spent those first sort of two years pretty much obsessed with, with going into the city. I would sit on the steps of Flinders Street Station and I'd just watch people. And it was really where I found, I think, my confidence to, I suppose, be out there with a the camera in public, shooting people. And this is probably the, the start of where I, where I am now as a photographer. There's a photo in the book of a, a, a man carrying a, a giant painting through the city streets and I, um, I look back at this picture and it's a, definitely a favourite of mine from the body of work and it, I've since found out that this is a, quite a well-known painter who was carrying this, this painting home from a, a regional gallery and it turns out he'd caught the train with the painting all the way back to the, the city and was on the last part of his journey I think the last thing he was probably counting on was, was having a, a um, street photographer chance upon him carrying this, this painting through the city streets. That's definitely one of my favourites from the book. One of the things in the book that I really wanted to show was the, the fact how Melbourne has really changed. There's obvious things like the, the skyline and laneways that are, are now, you know, full of bars, but for me, one of the, the, the key things in the book is the, the characters that just, you just don't see around the city anymore. There was, you know, when I was shooting this body of work, there were punks and there were goths and, you know, old men in three-piece suits that you, you would see walking around the city. And there's a real, I suppose, presence that, that, that some of these people had and you would always be able to, you know, you'd know where certain groups of people would be congregating around the city. And for me, this, that sort of sums up the, the work in the book. There's, there's pictures from this series that show a different side of Melbourne. You know, we all have our own sort of view and thoughts on a, on a city and a familiar city, but there is always a different part of the city that can be found and discovered. And that's what I've tried to do with um, Second City.